What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're taking the Trek Roscoe in for the complimentary service that the Trek stores give you once you buy a new bike. They give you a free inspection and everything. Make sure everything is good, clean the bike up and make sure all the parts are still intact and make it look all nice, all the good stuff. And if they have a bike in there that I'm interested in showing you guys, cause I do know a lot of you guys want to see the Marlin 8 and some other bikes. So whatever they have in there and I feel like it's something cool for you guys to see, give you guys some value, my opinion on what you should get, we'll check it out. So now let's go to the Trek store and see what's going on. All right, guys, let's go in here and see what's going on. All right, guys, right here, we got the Trek Marlin 8. And it was a lot of things that the guy at the bike shop told me that I didn't know between the Trek Marlin 8 and the Trek Marlin 7. So I wanna let you guys know so you don't make a mistake and buy something that you think you're getting a better deal but you're really not. First off, let me take this helmet off. I look kind of goofy with this thing on. All right, guys, so there's a $300 difference between the Trek Marlin 8 and the Trek Marlin 7. And I don't think that the $300 is worth saving to get the Trek Marlin 7. And let me tell you why. All right, first with the Trek Marlin 7, now they're starting to come with the Kobe TLR rims, which are tubeless ready, but the tires are not tubeless ready. So you do get the tubeless rim so far. I'm not sure how long that'll continue, but they are making the Marlin 7s with the Kobe TLR rims right now. I actually saw one in the store, which you can tape those, but the tires are not tubeless ready. Secondly, the Trek Marlin 7 comes with the one by 10 drivetrain, and it also comes with the coil fork and not the air spring fork. So those things right there alone are the biggest difference why I think you should get the Trek Marlin 8 over the Trek Marlin 7. So let's talk about the Trek Marlin 8 now. All right, now to the Trek Marlin 8. Let me tell you what you get for $300 extra, which is way undervalued because you get a lot more for the extra $300 by getting the Trek Marlin 8. So first you get the one by 10 drivetrain, which is a huge jump from the one by 10. All right guys, second, you get the tires and the rims tubeless ready on this bike. So you don't have to worry about upgrading the tires. You already have the tubeless ready tires on the bike, which will save you a lot of money also. Depending on what tires you get, you can spend up to $200 just on tires alone. So those two upgrades right there are worth the extra $300. But this third upgrade from the Trek Marlin 7 to the Trek Marlin 8 is a bigger difference too. So the third and final reason why I think it's worth it to get the Trek Marlin 8 over the Trek Marlin 7 is the fork. So you get an air spring fork instead of a coil spring so you can customize the fork to your weight. So you can get the RockShox Judy up front and have a way better fork than you would on the Trek Marlin 7. All right guys, let's jump on this thing and see how it rides. So this is my first time actually riding the Trek Marlin 8. And I didn't know you had those three huge differences in this bike. So I think it's definitely worth getting the 8 over the 7 because just those three things alone that I talked about, having the 1x12 drivetrain, having a tubeless ready tires and rims, and you have an air fork instead of a coil spring fork, it would cost you well over $300 just to get those things. Now you guys know, if you've been around a while, I'm not a real big spec person, but I have learned enough to know <laughs> that those three things that I just mentioned are way worth spending the 300 extra dollars for. I'm about 5'8", and I'm riding a medium right now, and it feels kind of small, so if you're 5'8", and I weigh about 180, I don't know if that matters or not. I can't remember what my inseam is, but I'm 5'8 by 180 and the medium is a little too small for me. I would go with the medium large if, if you're around my size, just for reference if you guys were wondering. It's cool too because you get the same fork on the Marlin 8 that you do on the Excalibur 8, so that's pretty good. And you guys were right, this bike rides way different than the Excalibur 8. I'm glad I was able to get on this bike. Cause I know a lot of you guys been asking about this bike too and I never really been on it. So I figured I'd check it out since I was bringing my Roscoe in anyway and let you guys know what I think about it. 
And now I'm glad I did because if you guys didn't know those three things that I was talking about before, this will really help you make a better decision on which bike you should buy, whether it be the Trek Marlin 7 or the Trek Marlin 8. But I'm telling you right now, go with the Trek Marlin 8 because for $300, that's a steal compared to what you get for $300 less with the Trek Marlin 7. But like always, we got to see if this thing can wheelie. You guys already know. Oh, I like this Marlin 8. This is this is be way better than my Marlin 6. I should have got the Marlin 8. Dang it. <laughs> they they sold the last one though when I was getting my Marlin 6, so I couldn't get the Marlin 8. <laughs> All right, guys, let me also say, if you are on a budget and that $300 means a lot and you don't really want to spend that extra 300, all you can spend is the thousand instead of the 1300 for the Marlin 8. I would say the Marlin 7 is definitely still an awesome bike, especially if those other things really don't matter to you because the Marlin 8 is geared more towards more trail riding. The Marlin 7, I think, is still in that range of trails and like community, urban, off, just a little off-road stuff, not just only trail oriented. So it's, it's worth the savings of the extra 300 if you don't prefer to have all that stuff and you don't ride a lot of trails, you just want a decent bike that can do both well, then yeah, save that 300. But if you go, if you want to go with the Marlin and you want to ride more trails than anything else, go with the Marlin 8 because you definitely get way more for your money than if you went with the Trek Marlin 7. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys this quick video while I was in this store and he was telling me about the Marlins because I was asking questions and it's like, man, I can't get on, on my Roscoe today, so I might as well just ride this Marlin and and let and let uh, let myself let my subscribers know what's going on with these marlins but hopefully we'll have the roscoe back out on the trail uh here this week i think it, my chain just needed tension and that's why my my gears weren't switching uh that smooth so we should be back out on the roscoe here in the next day or so but yeah let me know what you guys think about the Trek Marlin 8. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys chose. And if you're trying to decide between the two, I highly recommend the Trek Marlin 8. But if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video.